So there are many different kinds of hemp, as I'm sure you already know. And in this video, I'll be teaching you about what a few of those different kinds of hemp are. Uh, so over here, we have the dyed hemp, which is a ton of fun to work with because it can eventually get kind of boring to only be working with the natural colors like those over here. And uh, typically dyed hemp is easiest to find in the 20 pound size, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, but you can also find it in the 48 pound. And then there's the hemp twine, which is also what this dyed stuff is, it's the twine. Uh, and then there's hemp cord, some yarns over here, beading wire, and this thing, which I don't even remember what this is. So, the primary difference between twine and cord, which had troubled me for a long time, is uh, it's how it's made. Twine is made by getting lots and lots of little fibers and essentially meshing them together. Whereas cord is made from lots of long pieces of yarn that are twisted together, which makes it more consistent and more durable. It's hard to, to notice the consistency really from, from back there, but if you look at them side to side, you can tell that this one's quite a bit more consistent than this one. And it's a bit pricier, but I mean, when it comes down to it, hemp's pretty cheap anyway. So I'm an advocate of the cord. And uh, the yarn over here, I've, I've not really used it that much yet. It's kind of tiny, but uh, what's really nice about it is that rather than having to soften up the hemp like you often would with the twine, the yarn's made for weaving and macrame and that sort of thing, so it's already pretty soft, and you're not going to get those annoying splinter kinds of things. The beading twine is obviously handy when you're beading, because uh, something that if you've made a good amount of jewelry you've undoubtedly experienced by now, is that a lot of the coolest looking beads don't work with hemp because it's simply too big. And this, I've been going back and forth on what the heck it is. I think it's, uh, it's just unbleached, undyed hemp twine. And uh, this, this stuff right here, I think that it, naturally we think that this is how it looks after they process it, but this is actually bleached and dyed to look this way. My guess is that otherwise it would look like this guy over here. Uh, other things to know. Uh, the the uh, twine is measured, as I already mentioned, a little bit in uh, the 20 pound, 48, and I believe this is 160 or something around there. And I believe that the reason they call it whatever, whatever pound is because that's how much of a pound of test it can handle. But you'll also see it as 20 number, 48 number, etc. And the, uh, the cord is measured in millimeters. So this one right here is uh, one millimeter, and this one's two millimeter cord. And I've noticed that the one millimeter hemp cord is pretty much the same size as the 48 number twine. And this uh, two millimeters, you know, presumably the same size as the uh, 90, I guess it would be 96, although I've never actually seen that size. So, briefly enough, there's your quick tutorial on hemp. If you're looking for any hemp, please feel free to go buy some stuff on my site.